Welcome to Thinking Out Loud. I am Trench Keith, and these are my random ass thoughts. Uh, okay, so today we're talking Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, Michael Jackson, and I got time for all the bullshit. Uh, did he or didn't he? Why the kids? You know, I mean, uh, black or white? Uh, was the song Dirty Diana really about Diana Ross? We're going all the way in today. Um, now, first off, I want to start by saying he went down in history as the most famous musician ever. I want to go as far as saying he was the most famous fucking human being ever to, to ever live, to ever walk the earth. Think about this. Who does not know the name Michael Jackson? Who doesn't know the face if you don't know the name? I mean, the president, you could put up a picture of George Washington and have people internationally just like view it and and try to guess who it is. They will guess Michael Jackson. Trust. I'm just it's amazing. It's amazing that any human being could reach that level of fame. That level of success, they claimed him to be the most successful entertainer of all times. Of all times, entertainer. That that doesn't mean just musician. Now, keep in mind that this is after having changed his identity. (laughs) I mean, most people don't really comprehend that. This man literally changed the way he looks physically. And still went down in history as the most famous entertainer of all times. Now, you know, I I never really understood why he decided to do such a thing. And it's just one of those things that people will ponder forever and ever. Like, you know, why did he alter his face like that? Because, I I mean, and don't get me wrong, I'm not... uh, I don't even know what the word for it is today, but, you know, I got no sugar in my tank. But I will say that he was a handsome man in his earlier years. So what would drive him to? Anyway, it's just one of those things that you'll never know. It's a mystery. And I guess that adds to the mystique of Michael Jackson, the legend. But. You know, we'll start with his earlier years, you know, growing up as a product of the Jackson Five and living under under the rule of, of Joe Jackson and in his iron fist. I mean, Joe ran a tight ship. He was a perfectionist and basically a sweatshop worker. I mean, he had these kids doing things that you won't even see musicians of of age. Working under conditions that you wouldn't even expect from mature adults. But it paid off. I mean, it paid off big. But at what cost? You know, I mean, Michael Jackson, in his later years, uh, he expressed in interviews that he never had a childhood. You know, it was robbed from him. All he ever knew was work. And that. I believe is the only reason that he grew up and became the man child that he was. And I don't think that it's any kind of a slanderish uh, uh, way to speak about him. You know, um, I'm a man child to a degree as certain things that I like to do, like ride my bike. I like to play with RC cars. You know what I mean? I, I, I Drones and, and, you know, there's just certain things that I guess aren't accepted from society nowadays, especially, you know, being a man of melanin rich skin color. You know, I mean, it's just. I don't know, we expect certain things from people and it's just. These are stereotypes. OK, so taking it back to the working day and night, you know, off the wall, uh, PYT, back to those days. Uh, and a lot of people don't know that. That song PYT, 
That was Janet and Latoya Jackson singing back up for that song. You know, I think he, he had a pretty good relationship with Janet and Latoya, especially Latoya. Because I watched a lot of interviews and Latoya seems to know a lot more than the rest of the siblings. Just like personal, personal stuff, you know. But, um, yeah, so back in those days, yeah, Joe realizes he created a monster. And, uh, you know, it's hard to contain Michael, I'm sure. Uh, he, he becomes an awkward teenager. Um, and, uh, even what studio 54 was popping back then and photos surfaced of him, you know, hanging out with other celebrities. And I guess, what was that like? You know, was, was Michael Jackson a drinker? Did he, did he do drugs? Was he, you know, sniffing Coke with these people? Cause you know, studio 54 was just one of those hot spots where shit like that was happening. It was just, it was normal. You know, there was people having sex in the middle of the dance floor and just just coke everywhere. I heard it was just like you could at the end of the night, you could walk through the club and see residue of just drugs and shit. Money just all over the place. But, you know, it's a mystery. You know, the the pictures are out there. The pictures exist, but we don't know. We don't know what his life was like as a as a as a teenager or as a uh, young man, however old he was. I don't even know if you had to be 21 to get into that place back then. But. So he's uh, he's a man of, you know, of uh, kind of awkward and, and you know getting the pimples and whatnot. And I guess that's what made him um, want to alter his face and, and change the way he looks like that. Um. Yeah, there's um, a lot going on as far as like, you know, talks and controversial stuff about is he gay? You know, does he have a girlfriend? You know, he ends up taking Brooke Shields to that that award show and that caused a big stir up. And of course, of course, I will never forget. This is me as a child seeing him do the moonwalk on that. Motown 25 or whatever, whatever they called it, Motown something. He did the moonwalk. You know, here he comes with the jerry curl dripping and shit and, and goddamn glitter and jacket and the glove, the socks. That was cool enough. It was like, God damn, what, you know, th- this man looks like a, a hero, some type of uh, action figure or something. But he gets up there. Just skinny and frail, but he was like the king of the world. It seemed like he could take on anything, like he had the confidence of the strongest man that ever lived. But he did that damn moonwalk. And I swear to God, he had every child, every kid in the goddamn kitchen with some socks on and really trying to get it. You know, I was there. I did it. I thought he was the coolest man that ever lived when I saw that shit. All right. So Michael Jackson is, of course, the star of the family. And then he's doing his own projects, solo projects. And that's where Quincy Jones really comes into play with this thriller album and you know i mean i've of course i skipped ahead a little bit with the motown thing but the thriller album was the most successful album it goes down in history as the most successful album ever uh, they, they remade those so they remixed the songs i don't know how many times but i i read something about the the beat it song i think it was like 91 times they remixed and remastered that song Can you just imagine, I mean, me being a fan, I would love to know what remake number 25 sound like. What did 55 sound like? I mean, what if they, what if 69, because, you know, they they got a bunch of idiots, you know, A&R and all that shit. They got people who don't really know shit about music and about the fans listening to these songs saying what's hot and what's not. I guarantee somewhere in the middle, maybe 69 was the dopest version that they ever created. 
And it just got lost in the in the shuffle. And somehow 91 is the, the product that we got known as, you know, as beat it. I'm just, you know. Or was it beat it? I'm not even sure if it was beat it or if it was Billy Jean. I don't know. I get mixed up because it's, there was so many, so many hits. He had so many hits. Now, I'm going to jump ahead and the Diana song, Dirty Diana. Was that an actual song about Diana Ross? And if so, what the hell did she do? Why was she dirty? I know it was on everyone's mind. You know, people wrote articles about it. What is he say? Who is he singing about? Was it Diana Ross? Now, they had a, a special little friendship while he was a youngster. And of course, she was far much older. She was, uh, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years his senior. Maybe a fan can can, you know, chime in and, and leave some comments. Educate me. I don't know all this stuff. I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm, this is all on the fly. I'm just thinking out loud, literally. But uh, very, a very interesting man he was. And, uh, you know, we'll go back to the beat it and all that stuff. Working with uh, Quincy Jones. You know what that must have been like. Quincy Jones, who ended up producing the Fresh Prince, Prince of Bel Air. I mean, he everything he touched was gold. But Michael was a special, a special project. You know, being the awkward and strange man that he was, he he owned a chimp. And Michael Jackson's monkey, I, Quincy Jones' daughter Rashida, the sexy thing that she is. Now, I, I used to have the biggest crush on this girl. But, you know, she grew up and then she ended up doing all these, you know, the movies that they put her in. It's, it's like she's just this suburban, you know, white lady. And it's just to me, it's, it's just it's weird because it's like I know that, you know, she she's partly she's got melanin. You know what I mean? So it's like, why don't you ever play any roles that that kind of anyway, <laughs> neither here or there. I don't even know why I mentioned all that, but uh, so, oh, yeah, yeah, that's why I brought it up. Michael Jackson's chimp, Bubbles, ended up scarring her for life. She wears the scar today. I don't know. I think it's on her face. And maybe that's what prompted him to actually, you know, to go ahead and give Bubbles up. And the funny thing about Bubbles is that he's around 40 years old now. and and living a very successful life. Yes, Bubbles is still around and he's painting. He's a painter, a famous painter. His stuff actually sells. Yes. <laughs> I mean, think about that. It goes back to a, a funny joke that Dave Chappelle, everything that Dave, Dave Chappelle says is, is damn near funny, but it's like he said something about Bill Clinton and uh, Monica Lewinsky and how uh, it's just it's, it's ironic how Monica Lewinsky sucks Bill Clinton off and she becomes famous because of the dick she sucked. <laughs> the chimp. Michael Jackson's monkey is famous right now. That's incredible. That just it, it just alludes to the the status that Michael Jackson once had that you could, you could create a famous monkey 